Ever since I was young enough to dream, I dreamed of building my own gaming laptop, whether it be, I don't know, an old Xbox. That was, that was the first ones I ever saw was uh, Xbox 360 converted into a gaming laptop. And just ever since then, it's just always been a childhood dream. Well, now I hold the tools. I've done this video on a bit of a whim because I wasn't actually planning on doing a video build for this. I just built it just because I really just wanted to do it just out of personal pleasure and just putting love into it. But here's some of the examples that you can see for some that people have done online for like gaming laptops and things like that. So I've decided to do one of my own and here's what I've got so far. Screen's all in place now. Let's see if it works. Yeah, boy. Now that the screen all done, that's to work on a side panel for the base. Cut that out with acrylic. Pretty nice pattern. I'll back it with either some acrylic or some green card, I think. That'll work that. You know what, now that's finished etching, that looks pretty good, damn good. And then in the centre of that, because it's my own Alienware laptop, <laughs> I've got my own alien symbol that I'm putting on it, why not? Three different notes on hinges. Time to do them in the luminous green so it goes with the uh, green on the case. Today I've been pretty much getting the graphics card on its risers and assembled. I had to bring it a bit further over because I didn't realise the power thing was for it as fair. Didn't take that into account, so I had to do a few little mods to get that in there. And the rest of the day was spent doing this back play, just working out the calculations from where to do the cut on the laser cut on that. Hard work, it's hard work, but we got there in the end. I think overall it's looking quite good. The power supply sits a little bit higher than if anybody has noticed. I've still got to put a little bit of a level of acrylic around that yet, so when you put that acrylic on top, it's perfectly level. And then we can mount the screen on, get everything wired up, and check if it works. Whoop whoop! 